Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Kuno. Today we're gonna make a seafood pasta medley. It was my wife's recipe. She came up with it out of the blue, so we'll thank her for it later. But it's just a bunch of seafood thrown together with some angel hair, angel hair pasta. And what I got going right now is I got some onion sauteing and some olive oil and some garlic. We're gonna saute that just a little bit longer. We're gonna get it nice and uh, translucent or starting to get a little tender. I'm gonna salt and pepper it. Remember, salt and pepper. Use your uh, spices as you go. So I got some salt and pepper. As you can see, I have my pasta going right here. It's a I have angel hair, angel hair pasta in there. So that's almost done, we're gonna let that go. So okay, so I got my, my onions and my garlic sauteing and some olive oil and butter. Make sure you use real butter because the butter has a really nice flavor to this seafood dish. And what I got here is I, at the store I found a bag of, it's called seafood mix. It's got some clams, some shallots, or sh scallions, um, crab meat, squid, and octopus. So we can throw that in there like that. It's a little bit of everything, which makes that what makes it nice is, but if you can find fresh seafood, because I have some fresh um, shrimp that I'm going to throw in there too, and I got some mussels I'm going to throw in there, but if you can find fresh seafood, that's a big plus. And I can't find it around here. I found some fresh stuff, but as you can see, it's still a little frozen. We're going to break it up a little bit. We can put the lid on it, it'll help it out. Turn the heat up a little bit, because I got right now it's just on again a medium. And I also have, um, like I said, fresh stuff is good, but I gotta go get away with using, uh, I have baby clams here, a can, and I just got some, just some clam juice. It's just some seafood juice. And I made a roux with, out of the wine and some flour. That's gonna be the thickening agent. I also got about a little couple, couple, uh, white wine and some green onions and some lemons fresh lemons add some lemon juice to it what we're going to do is i'm going to let this cook a little bit we'll take a little break and when we get back i'll show you what it all looks like thrown together see you in a little bit okay welcome back as you can see i have my seafood pasta going i added my shrimp and you can see my clams have opened up or my mussels that i put in there and they opened up once you always, when you buy them at the store and you buy fresh ones, make sure they're closed. You never want to buy open ones. That means that they're no good. And then once you cook them, they'll open up when they're cooked. I added my fresh spinach in there. And I did forget to tell you also that as I was cooking, I do add fresh mushrooms to this too. I squeezed, some, I squeezed a, a whole lime in there. And it's thickened up really good. And I added, um, and I think last time I told you guys I added scallions, but I added scallops. I mispronounced it. I was told by my crew in the background that I mispronounced it. So it was scallops that I ordered, or that I put in there. As it's really thick, then I got my pastas already done. And last week I told you that the spaghetti thing is actually a colander. I'm, <laughs> I saw it on my video last week, I called it a spaghetti thing. But this is a colander. I have my angel hell pasta, so I have it on a plate. And what we'll do is we'll serve this up over the pasta. Scoop it up there, serve it over your pasta just like that. And I have some fresh green onions that I cut up. Take that, a little sprinkle like that, and there you go. That's a meal that I guarantee you everybody will love. How about that? How's it look, Nick? Did it look, look good? Yeah. All right. All right, fellas, people, that is my seafood. Actually, it's my wife's. I'm taking the credit because I'm cooking it this time. It's a seafood pasta delight. I guess we'll call it that. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next week. Thanks again.